Hi guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to the library and another video today. Today, I'm tired. It is the end of the day. I usually film these at the beginning, so I apologize. I am very sleepy. <laughs> but we're going to talk today about how I get library books back at the end of the year. I do not get them all, first of all. I do have to say that. So I usually get, I usually lose, we have about 12,000 books in our collection, and I usually lose like 100 a year approximately, um, which for us is pretty good. That's like less than 1% of the books. <laughs> so um, that's very normal. And honestly, how I usually lose books is for from students moving. So it's not seniors or anything that are like just not turning them in before they graduate. Okay, the students are finally gone. Now, <laughs> let's get back to what I was talking about. If, like me, you lose books due to students moving, make sure you talk to whoever, like your registrar is at your school, that they email you as soon as they find out that a student is moving. Ours tries to email me when she knows that the student is moving before they actually leave so that I can find the person, track them down at our school before they leave, and I can say, hey, give me your book. And most of the time, they have it on their person somewhere, like in their backpack. But if they've already moved, which happens a lot of the time, I try to send emails and letters home, and the registrar tries to help as well, but sometimes those are are just the ones that get lost so just always have your try to have your registrar email you as soon as she knows the student's going to move so you can try to get the book before they do because once you do it's really hard to get it back another way that i get books back at the end of the year before i do well right around the time i do inventory is that i hound them and hound them and hound them <laughs> i give uh, monthly notices to students when they come for their library visit we do have monthly visits here even though it's a high school because we do monthly independent reading so every single time an english class comes for their monthly visit i have little slips cut that i do in destiny and i run a report of all the books they have currently checked out overdue books even books that they are that are due like that day and I hand it to like I have my TAs chop them for me with our paper cutter and I hand them out and then at the end of the year I do even more oh, oh well also at the end of each nine weeks I email home um, to parents and students like hey these books are still out and I know that's somewhat of a privacy thing where people are like oh but parents shouldn't know like what books that the kids have out I know but there's just no other way to make sure the parents know that the kid has the book and honestly I get a lot more books turned in because of that because the parents are like reminded the kids hey you have a certain book out or whatever it is I at the end of the year I do way more of the notices like all I was even delivering some to classes now once we've done inventory I do inventory and then I um, see what books are still out there and then I uh, give out those notices again to all of the English teachers another thing is just to start early so the earlier you can collect books obviously you want students to be able to check out books as long as possible but the earlier you can start the better one year I didn't start until two weeks before the end of school which um, at a high school level with 1300 kids and trying to get books back from like 300 seniors so that they could participate in all the graduation activities which I'll tell you about in a minute um, was a kind of a nightmare honestly just as you couldn't like we couldn't do it all in two weeks and I couldn't try to track down kids look up their individual schedules and find them and try to get to every single English class to hound them about books it was it was literally not possible so just start super early this year we started collecting books all of our books were due March 29th and our last day of school is not till around May 29th but it's only because of the move to the new school um, we would never ever normally correct collect books that early it's just that this time um, we have to have all books boxed up by May 1st and so we only we're gonna have three weeks because of spring break coming in there we're gonna have three weeks to do everything we need to do with inventory and boxing and all that Another thing is I go to individual classes. So I try to go to every single English class um, kind of before we start inventory, like books are due. And then maybe like a week or so later, we start inventory. And during that week, I literally take a cart and I go to every single English class. This year, I made a spreadsheet. I can put a picture of it here. I made this spreadsheet that was like, here's how I'm gonna get to every English class <laughs> and visit them and make sure that I, you know, go to one, I go to one class at the beginning of each hour. I go to one class at the end of each block or, you know, whatever. Um, and that's how I got around to every, classroom and I, that's how I got so many books because students have them on their person they just didn't want to physically come and turn them in the library I guess it's a big trek you know it's a long trek to the library I'm sure but if I go to them they turn them in I know I shouldn't have to do that because it's really on the kid to, to get the book turned in let's be real we've got to teach them some responsibility at some point so I'm not going to hound them multiple like if I've talked to them individually especially like I'm not going to go to them a second time because at that point it's their responsibility but I will try to hound them at least once personally seniors specifically now let's talk seniors at our school what we do is we have it in our policy I actually got it approved a couple years ago so make sure you do get it approved and it's in your actual school policy in writing somewhere if you have some sort of policy but our policy is that students cannot participate in any of the senior week activities if they don't have um, if they have you know an outstanding fine like a, like an, you know a book not we don't charge daily fines but like a lost library book 
on their account. They have to have that paid for or worked off if they want to come and work it off in the library. That's an option too. Or they can replace it with a used copy. But that really does get a lot of books back because seniors know they have to. <laughs> and so they're, you know, if they haven't, if they lost a book their freshman year, it's just going to stay on their account forever until they're a senior. Now, of course, if they move, can't get it back that's a problem but if they're still here their senior year then that, then they have to come pay for it and they do I've never had to withhold anyone from senior activity so that's really good um, you can't withhold their diplomas at least in Kentucky now maybe other states are different but the law in Kentucky is that due to financial you know obligations do they still have to the school it doesn't matter they still can get their diploma so uh, we can't now technically we could stop them from walking at graduation but we're probably not gonna do that over a library book um, although I could threaten them with it and make them think that that's the case to scare them so that they will actually get it turned in <laughs> Speaking of threatening them, I also threaten them. I, I tell everybody that like, hey, if you know, after we do inventory, if you know, we're done with inventory and your book still isn't turned in, it will be marked as lost. And that just scares them to think that, oh my gosh, my book's gonna be marked as lost. I guess I have to pay for it, which I mean, yeah, eventually, sure. But just because it's marked as lost, like it's still gonna be the same as if it wasn't marked lost. Like it's still on your account. You still are, you know, you still gotta, you, you, you could turn it in if you find it. It's the same case. It just somehow scares them to, into thinking they have to turn it in sooner. <laughs> all books will be marked lost. So we do have announcements made in the mornings as well. Like all books will be marked lost. They're not turned in by a blank day, you know, things like that. But I do try to make announcements um, in the morning announcements um, or in the cafeteria. We have like a slideshow or just making sure that English teachers who are like my biggest help are on board with helping me make announcements to their classes. And finally, um, at the very, very end, I try to go and track down individual kids, especially seniors. Sometimes it'll be like 20 seniors that still have a book out or maybe they owe for a damaged book or something and I see them personally so that they know that they're responsible for that book before they can participate in those senior activities. The rest of the school, I don't usually get to them as much. <laughs> um, I'll try to, but I mean, there's only so many times I can get to a class. I don't want to interrupt classes. The previous librarian, I think she did do that. I just, I can't, I can't go in and like knock on a door when somebody's actively teaching or kids are actively working and be like, let me stop everything and ask this one kid about this library book. So I can, I like to only go at the very beginning or very end of class, like kind of between class changes. So I look up their schedules. I go and wait for them basically. And then it's inevitable. Somebody's absent and I've gone all that way for nothing. But anyway, I do collect books the most that way. In fact, I was walking down the hall just earlier and somebody just like handed me a book. They're like, here, can you kind of just give this to you. I was like, yes. <laughs> so I guess I just need to walk around the hall even and collect books that way too. Well, those are some of my tips. If you guys have any more tips, please let me know <laughs> because like I said, we still lose about 100 or 150 books a year, mostly from the students moving, not because they don't turn them in at the end of the year. But we did just implement a new plan too, which is um, that at the beginning of the next school year, you can't check out any books if you have books out from the previous school year. And I hate to do that because obviously I want students to check out books, but I was just losing too many books um, from, you know, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors who just didn't care yet because there was nothing to hold over their heads um, and where I had we have so many students move at our school a lot of students coming in and out so because of that I was losing so many books that way and I was like okay how about we just say you can't check out a book the next year if you still have a book on your account and I got a lot of books that way because because we have that required monthly independent reading project with the English teachers, um, students had to be able to check out books. And so they were like, oh, we have to check out a book, but we can't because we owe from last year. So I guess we need to come pay for it. Or, hey, wait, I did find it. It was sitting on my dresser. I guess I need to turn it in so I can do my English project. <laughs> so it actually worked out pretty well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was at least somewhat helpful. And let me know if you have any ideas too for how to get your books back at the end of the year. And anyway, I will talk to you guys again later. Bye.